Hey everybody, thank you so much for stopping back by. I am Tia, I'm a part-time vlogger and blogger, full-time fed, and I love doing these kind of review videos because I come across a lot of things and it only makes sense to tell you whether it's good or not so that you can save your money if it's not good or you can invest in it if it is something that I think you'll enjoy. So if you like those kind of videos, please feel free to subscribe. And at very minimum, if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you've got video ideas, leave them in the comments below. I read them all and I enjoy seeing them. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. Good to see you again. I hope that everything is going well wherever you are. And I hope that whatever the weather is supposed to be is normal for where you are. I'm coming off of an abnormal uh, weather pattern for a couple of days. So it's nice to get back to normal weather for the season. Anyway, today we are reviewing a product that came in my last bean box. Now you all know I love bean box. I'm gonna tell you very briefly about it, then I'll get into the product. So bean box is a subscription service. They send me a box every six or seven weeks or so, and it contains products that are specially selected for my complexion as well as my skin type. So you put in your information on the website, they will make sure that your box has stuff you can use. So it's great. And every time I've gotten the box, the value of the products in the box always far exceed, exceeds, can't talk, far exceeds the cost of the box, which is really, really nice. I always get my money's worth. So this product was in the last bean box, and I will put that link somewhere overhead so that you can go right to that video. It is the Flesh, Sheer Flesh, Hydrating SPF Serum. It has an SPF of 35 and it has three active uh, sunscreens in it. It is homosalate, octisalate, and avobenzone. So you've got three different types of sunscreen. It is not water resistant. However, it is just as it says sheer. Now, when you take the top off, you've got this nice little serum style pump. And I'm just going to pump a little bit on my hand so that you can see it. It looks like a cream, but it's not. It's a much thinner consistency. And as you can see, when I rub it in, it vanishes. Now, it smells like a sunscreen. It's not offensive, but um, it definitely smells like a sun protectant. The directions say... 15 minutes before you're exposed to the sun, apply this liberally and then every two hours after. I've used it a couple of times and I'm wearing it today under my makeup. Um, this was the last of my morning skincare steps and I didn't apply my makeup until right before I filmed. So if I needed to reapply during the day, that would have been fine. Um, that's always the problem for me when it comes to sunscreens, reapplying. If you've got a full face of makeup on, it's just not going to happen for most of us. But that is the caution and that is what you should do under normal circumstances. If you're going out in the sun, you're going to be out there for more than two hours, put on some more sunscreen. So advantages of this. It's hydrating, just like it says. It does not make me feel dry at all. However, I live in a climate that tends toward humidity, even during the cooler seasons like spring, what we're in now, the air still tends to be more humid than dry. So it's fabulous. There are two humectants that I noticed on this uh, list. There might be more, but there were two that stood out quickly, which were glycerin and honey extract, and they're pretty high up on the list. So with those two, you know that humectants or any kind, any of that classification of ingredient, they draw water. They um, basically take water molecules from, from wherever and they expand. So this has two humectants high on the list. So if you live somewhere humid, you better believe this is gonna keep you hydrated. Um, you may have to try this with caution if you live somewhere very dry and your skin is not oily or combination because I could see where if you had very dry skin and you live somewhere, somewhere very dry, this may not hydrate. This might leave you feeling a little bit dry yourself. 
but it's something that you could definitely gauge to see for yourself how it works. It would be worth, in my opinion, a shot, even if you do have dry skin and live somewhere dry because it has a really nice feel. And I'm assuming if you have very dry skin, you probably have a good amount of moisturizers on your skin already. This probably won't cause your skin to dry out if you've already properly prepped your face for whatever the weather and whatever your skin type is. So yes, I'm trying to see what else I noticed. Ah, yes, it does have fragrance added. So if you are someone who likes a fragrance-free formulation, this is not it. It does have fragrance added. It also has, where is it? Yes, pomegranate extract in it. So I don't know all of the health benefits of pomegranate, but um, I have seen it listed as a an ingredient in many skincare products. So you know, if that's something that interests you, it does have pomegranate extract in it. Uh, now, what you need to know is that this is not widely available. Like I went to the Target website and I went to Walmart. I went to a couple of websites, didn't see it. There's only one website where I saw it and I cannot remember the name of it right offhand, but it'll be in the description box. That website has this. And the prices are reasonable for it. Like this is not an outrageously priced product for what you're getting. But when I tried to find it, it's very hard to find. And I'm thinking this was on, this is um, a Revlon product. They're the, comp the parent company for Flesh Beauty. I'm thinking that they uh, started off really, really big and kind of fizzled out. And I do know that I glanced at a few articles when I just typed in Flesh Beauty 2022. I glanced at a few articles and it seemed to suggest that the company, the Revlon, um, not the Revlon company, but the Flesh Beauty company under Revlon has maybe ceased operations. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but you can still buy this online. You just have to go through a specific website to get it. It is not widely available in your local places that you might usually get skincare, your Ulta, your Sephora, your Target, your Walmart, wherever. I didn't see this listed on their websites. So that's a little disheartening because I like it. I do have another sunscreen that I'm going to try that is available at Target and I will, you know, try that and get back with you on it. But I wanted to at least tell you about this because I liked it when I first swatched it and now that I've used it on my face a few times I really enjoy the formulation I just I'm a little sad that it's not more widely available but yeah that is flesh sheer flesh hydrating SPF serum with SPF 35 do I recommend it of course it's a great product if you can find it easily even better uh, I like the formulation a lot and because it does not leave me blue like some sunscreens have done, I can recommend this in ways that I cannot recommend those other brands. But yeah, this was a very good value. This product alone brought my bean box value up. This alone was about half of the cost of the bean box, half of the sticker price. So um, for the formulation, especially since it's perfect for your face, it's worth it to spend a little bit more for your face sunscreen that isn't going to, you know, make you blue or get cakey or anything. And then you can use the less expensive but still effective stuff from perhaps the neck down. So for facial sunscreen, highly recommend. If you're planning on lathering your entire body in this, it might get a little costly. But again, that's your business. You can do what you like. So yeah, that is it. And I will see you all soon. Hope you all are having a great day or evening. And let me know if you've tried this, what you thought of it. Take care.